Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to another episode of Bedtime Stories. Hello everyone and welcome to Bedtime Stories. So I have chosen three books for you today. Before we get started, has everybody brushed their teeth? And are you cosy in your pyjamas? If so, then let's get started. And those of you who haven't yet brushed your teeth, please do it after we finish reading. Don't worry, there's time for you to do it before you go to bed. Okay, now the three books that I have chosen today are one of my favourites and my children's favourites. So we've got I'm Not Reading, then we have Zoe and the Fairy Medicine, and then we've got The Robot. So which one would you like me to read today? One, two or three? Should we go for number one? Yeah. I like this one too. So let's put this one here. <clears throat> the story I'm going to read to you today is called I'm Not Reading by Jonathan Allen. Are we ready? Are you comfortable? Yeah? Should we get started? Okay. I'm not reading. <clears throat> Baby Owl sat down with Owly under a tree in a field by the farm. He had his favourite book with him. Sit quietly, Owly, said Baby Owl, and I will read to you. Oh, shall we have a look at Owly? And baby Al, there they are, sitting near the farm, under a tree. <clears throat> baby Al had just opened his book, when along came Tiny Chick. You're reading a story, baby Al, cried Tiny Chick. May I listen to? All right, baby Al. <clears throat> but I'm not reading unless you sit quietly. I will, said Tiny Chick. <clears throat> There's Tiny Chick. Before, before Baby Owl could begin, along came Tiny Chick's two brothers and two sisters. Baby Owl's reading a story, they cried. Hooray! And they jumped up onto Baby Owl's lap. Oh, they must be so excited. Do you get excited when someone's reading to you? Like Baby Chick? Hold on a minute, protested Baby Owl. I'm not reading unless all you sit down quietly like Owly and Tiny Chick. We will, we will, said Tiny Chick's brothers and sisters. There we go. Baby Owl had just reached around them to, book, to open the book when along came Tiny Chick's seven cousins. Baby Owl's reading a story, they cried. Hooray, hooray and they all piled on top of Baby Owl's lap. Oh no, what do you think is going to happen next? They're all trying to get on his lap, on Baby Owl's lap. Should we find out? Okay. <clears throat> Wait a minute, shouted Baby Owl. I'm not reading until all of you get off. Wow, wow, they cried. But the chicks didn't hear him. They were too busy pushing and shoving each other. There they are, they're all pushing and shoving each other. I don't think they notice where Baby Owl is. Just then came along Tiny Chick's school friends and their brothers and their sisters and their cousins. What are you all doing, they cried. Baby Owl's reading us a story, shouted Tiny Chick. Really? 
asked one of the chicks. Where is baby owl? Oh, that's a good question. Where is baby owl? Can any of you tell me where baby owl is? Can you see baby owl anywhere? Where is he gone? I'm here, said baby owl in a muffled voice, and I am not reading. I am being squashed. Help. Oh dear, baby owl doesn't sound very happy. Then along came baby owl's dad. Poor baby owl, he said, lifting him up gently. What on earth were you doing underneath there? I was reading to Owly, then Tiny Chick came along, then his brothers and his sisters and his cousins, and then everybody else came too. And they all wanted me to read to them, and they all sat on my lap, and I got squashed. That's not fair, said Baby Owl. <clears throat> I think Baby Owl was really upset because he was getting squashed. Don't worry, I'll ask you some questions after. Along came Tiny Chick's mum. Oh dear, she said. I think Tiny and his friends are a little overexcited. They do. They do so love being read to. Well, said Baby Owl's dad, perhaps Baby Owl will read to them if they promise not to squash him. Yes, yes, we promise, said Tiny Chick. Please read to us, Baby Owl. All right, said Baby Owl, I will read to you. Did everybody see all the chicks and Baby Owl? Hooray, cried all the chicks, and they jumped up onto Baby Owl's dad and Tiny Chick's mum. They were so excited. Baby Owl laughed. Then he opened his book and read them all a story. Later, Dad took Baby Owl home. He tucked him into his warm, cosy bed. Shall I read you a story, Baby Owl? asked Dad. But Baby Owl was already falling asleep. Good night, Baby Owl, whispered Dad. Good night, Dad, mumbled Baby Owl. Good night, Owly, good night. And that's the end of the story. Let's have a look at all those little chicks. Oh, I think they were giving Owly a really, really hard time today in the story. Jumping on him and squashing him. Why do you think Baby Owl was sad? Can anyone tell me? Yes, because Baby Owl was trying to read a story and he was getting squashed by all the little chicks. But the little chicks didn't understand, did they? Because they were so overly excited, they didn't realise they were squashing Baby Owl. And they didn't realise that Baby Owl got upset. And then he didn't want to read to them anymore. But then after what happened, can anyone tell me? After Baby, Chick, Baby Owl's dad came and Baby Chick's mum came, they convinced Owl that if the chicks promised not to squash Baby Owl, he would read them a story. And did he read them a story? Yes, he did. He read them a story, didn't he? And he was really happy. And then Baby Owl got so tired, he didn't want to hear a story from his dad. He just fell right asleep. I'm sure, like you will be too, after I finish reading you a story, you're going to fall right asleep. So now we finish this one. I think some of you are still not tired and maybe you might want another story. Because you've been so good and so quiet, I'm going to read you one more story before I go. And the story, story I've chosen is called The Robot. This is one of my 
children's favourite story too. I hope you enjoy it. Let's find out what it's about. <clears throat> the Robot by Paul Shipton and Gary Dunn. The Robot. Now what do we need to make a robot? Here is a leg. Thank you. There's the professor and there's his little helper. She's going to help him make the robot. How lovely. Here is a foot. Thank you. So we've got the leg and we've got the foot. Let's see what's next. Here is an arm. Thank you. So we've got the leg, we've got the foot and we've got the arm. Let's see what's next. Here is a hand. Thank you. Can we see that? Can everyone see it? Yeah. We're nearly there. We've got the hand. What do, we, what do you think is next? Here. Oh, where is the head? Oh, where is the head? Here. Here's the head. <clears throat> Can you see the head? Do you think our robot is ready now? Let's see. Here is the robot. Thank you. Can you say robot? Here is the robot. Thank you. The robot has a head. He has a body. He has a leg. He has an arm, he has a hand, and he has a foot. Shall I show you? Now, can you tell me what body parts do we need to make a robot? Can you tell me? Go on then. The robot needs a head, very good, a body, fantastic, a leg, yes, and then he needs an arm, a hand, and a foot. Very good, well done. So now our robot is complete. Here are his body parts. And this is what makes a robot. Can you say robot? Fantastic. Well done. And thank you so much for listening and sitting so patiently and so quietly and listening to our bedtime stories. I hope you enjoyed the stories I read to you today. Next time I will read you more stories and if you've got any favourites that you like or you, you would like me to read to you, please let me know. You can call in and I will read them for you. So have you brushed your teeth yet? Are you getting ready to brush your teeth? If so, very good. Put your PJs on and get cosy and get ready for bed. Thank you so much for watching. Good night. Assalamu alaikum. Bye.